I like that we've had guys that really try to step into those spots and fill, you know, fill the shoes of guys, you know, ahead of them. Um, you know, we're excited about the talent that we have. I feel like we've got a lot of guys that we can go to with the ball. Clark County is about as difficult a team to get a preseason read on as there is in tri-state football. While graduation robbed the program of almost every known roster commodity, you couple that with the program's constant wrestle with quarantine issues last fall, and there was never really a window for new faces to emerge either. Even Clark County's signature Black Death defense is in flux, with former defensive coordinator Brian Plenge pursuing a collegiate coaching opportunity and Macon's Brennan Klaas moving over to helm that unit. The same kind of energy and intensity that Brian had, and, and uh, you know, the, the expectations really aren't that much different, it's just a little bit different schematically, and I think that we've been really solid over there, you know, for basically putting everything in brand new. We've got several guys that we can put out there and get some guys some breaks and, and uh, maybe a little bit different than what we've ever been before. You know, we've played kind of our top guys a lot and, and then rotated sparingly. We may be more platoon type this year than what we ever have before. So uh, that's exciting too. And throughout the preseason, Wyatt Randall for one has profiled as one of those typical Clark County field disruptors. Crafting an identity on the other side of the ball seems to be an exercise to this point with a lot more moving pieces. Uh, I think our skill guys are just really hungry, you know, to go prove what they can do. And that's, that's uh, you know, a good thing to have with a young team and guys that want to step up and want the ball in their hands. Uh, that's been good. You know, the, the depth that we do return or guys that we do return have been there, been in big games and played before with Noah and Briston. You know, they know what the expectation is and, uh, you know, that makes it a little bit easier transition. You know, for everybody else, they've kind of got those guys to lean on a little bit. But there's going to be ups and downs when you play the teams that we play in our conference. You know, our, our uh, non-conference games are going to be great opponents, so that's going to be exciting. We're going to be ready to go every week just like always, and I think those guys understand that. Uh, maybe kind of necking down what we do as a, as a preparation standpoint, worry about us more than what we do, you know, maybe as a, as a veteran team, you know, with seniors, what we had last year, those guys, we did a lot of scout stuff, maybe back that off a little bit, give them, take a little pressure off those guys to know what they need to do and just us get them in the right spots would be uh, key, I think, for us to be successful.